hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is dr purple i'm a doctor here in the uk and i do videos for international doctors and international students who are transitioning to study or practice in the uk so today i'm going to be giving you four simple things i think you should be doing in preparation for your first job as a doctor in the united kingdom number one you need to familiarize yourself with the good medical practice handbook i'm going to put a link in the description box below basically the good medical practice handbook describes what it means to be a doctor in the uk it gives uh, guidance in four sections that will regulate your professional conduct as a doctor it is expected that you use your professional judgment and expertise to apply the principles in this guidance to the various situations you face on a daily basis in discharging your duties as a doctor so the four components basically talk about number one being competent and keeping your professional knowledge up to date with standards that are acceptable in the uk medical practice the second thing is about you making effort to prioritize the safety and the care of your patient and also learning how to escalate things when you think the safety of your patients is being compromised number three is about establishing and maintaining good partnership with your colleagues and also with your patients the last component is about maintaining trust both in your abilities and your profession by being open honest and acting with integrity the second point is getting the appropriate skill set that will stand you out in your first role as a doctor in the UK. <laughs> Some of you might be starting as um, F2, F3, SHO or trust grade doctors, even specialty doctors. So it's quite important that whatever role you are starting with, you are well equipped with emergency procedures and certification to be able to carry out your job very, very effectively at some point you might be the one who's got the emergency blip so you need to be well informed on what exactly to do but so i would say whilst you're planning to start your first job you should check the resuscitation council uk i'll put a link down below for causes that might be applicable for your role something like basic life support advanced life support advanced cardiovascular life support or even surgical basic surgical skills depending on what job you are starting with anyways so some people are quite lucky in this regard because your employing body might have enrolled you already for one of these courses so it would be a good idea if you check with the human resource department of your hospital to check if this is a course that is a prerequisite for you to start your new job the third point is you studying common conditions that you will encounter depending on what role let's say you starting as an sho in general medicine general surgery trauma and orthopedics a and e accidents and emergency I'll take time to read and study common medical conditions if you're starting a surgical job appendicitis differentials of right iliac fossa pain if you're doing option gynecosis of vaginal bleed in uh, early pregnancy common gynecologic emergencies is if you're doing the acute medicine or a and e jobs it's very good for you to start reading around nice guidelines for copd asthma pneumonia elderly falls electrolyte imbalance sepsis is a big one which i think you should know very well and also if you're doing like pediatrics learn a bit more about uh, fever in under five and common pediatric emergencies or these are cases that you will encounter on a day-to-day -day basis and if you have a good knowledge of this it will give you a good starting a good working relationship both with your uh, seniors and with your other mates a good way to start is probably by studying this book this is a book you can get from Amazon, I think it's less than 15 quid, uh, Oxford Handbook for the Foundation Year Program. So no matter what job you're starting, if it is an SHO level job or a trust grade job, this book is very, very handy and useful. So you might as well just check it out. You don't have to worry so much or be anxious starting your first job because the way the NHS is structured in the UK is that you always will have seniors around you, registrars, consultants, and uh, as a rule of thumb, it will be nice if you discuss your patients with your seniors before you plan discharge because you just want to cover your back. You don't want anything untoward. 
to happen. You can't be too confident at this stage of your job, if you get what I mean. Remember, it took you a lot of time to get this GMC license, so you don't want to play with it. So make sure you discuss your cases, uh, especially the challenging ones with your registrars and seniors on call and uh, before you initiate any discharge process. There are applications you can download on your phone that will also make your work very, very easy. Uh, the BNF, the hospital induction app, which will give you the phone numbers and the blip numbers of everyone in and around your hospital. I'm gonna do a subsequent video on basic apps that are useful in medical practice in the UK. And the last point, you should do a proper research on what financial issues and this will include what bank you want to bank with what credit card you think you need because credit card at some point will become useful to help you gain more credit scores and credit scores will determine your accessibility to mortgage facilities getting car loans or even applying for some credit facilities as well doing your proper research on location where you want to live accommodation and uh, community some people probably would like to live in metropolitan areas some people like uh, the countryside just do your proper research so that whatever it is you're choosing fits your personality and also your circumstances some people especially if you're coming to start your first job all by yourself without any family commitment some people will prefer to stay in the hospital accommodation if your hospital has got one and whilst you're there you make arrangements and uh, do your plans and decide on which way forward to go especially as you are planning to start your first job in the uk and once again i want to say congratulations if you've landed yourself a new job and if you are in the process of getting one that's fine keep at it keep at it it will come eventually all right thank you very much for watching this video if you like the content of this video uh, you can subscribe to my channel if there's any questions you've got anything you want me to talk about drop a comment and follow me on social media on instagram twitter so i'll drop the links in the description below thank you